What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Witcher 3, Blood and Wine. We're here with Geralt, and we are at Castel Ravello still. We're gonna head over to A Knight's Tale, which we need to talk to a man named Jacob, a woodcutter. Before we actually talk to Jacob, let's go in here and talk to this herbalist, since we are actually still here. I went and dropped some stuff off. I got more buff from Corvo, and I believe we are ready to go. So let's talk- oh, hello. Horsetail. Nature's bounty. Mint, nettle, and horsetail. Welcome, wanderer. In need of herbs, perhaps? Wart for a sore stomach, or...? Prefer willow bark or iris root for stomach aches. Wart can cause dizziness, nausea. Forgive me. It's just that you do not have the look of one familiar with herbs. What looks that? And looks deceive, anyway. Me, I'm not out for common weeds that grow in any meadow. Need rare ingredients. Can you help me out, or should I move on? You must judge for yourself. Meant no offense. Oh, we can play her at Gwen. Was she a quest for Gwen? Meant no offense. Meant no offense. And I took none. I should be the one to apologize for judging by appearance alone. Tell me, your knowledge, how did you gain it? From an herbalist living nearby? No, from somewhere a long way off. Kaer Morin, Northern Kedwin. Gods! That's the continent's other end. What are you doing in Tucson? Same thing I do anywhere. Killing monsters. Killing monsters. Care to play a game of Gwent? I really like your... your hat. Your right. Hat. Show me hat. what you got. I like the flower thing she has on her head. I don't even know what to call it. Let's just call it a flowery... thing. I don't think she has anything. No, nothing out of the ordinary. Listen, let's play Gwent. I think we should just play her. I know there's no quest here, but I want to see what happens if we play somebody that's not a quest, just to see what they do. It's probably Wouldn't chances. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Chances are it's probably nothing, just some coin. But still, we need to hone our skills still because we got this tournament coming up. All right, so we got shield maidens, but we have... Oh, no. Ceres, get these shield maidens. Oh, nice. So Ceres pulls the shield maidens out. Oh, this is going to be great. What do you got a nilf deck for, ma'am? Oh, dim. Have fun. I feel like I want to wait on Ceres, though. But what if... I don't know. I don't think we'll get a shield maiden because we don't we don't get cards when we went around like the northern realms do. Look at Olaf. Come on, Olaf, get out there. Buff him. Olaf. Many have tried to defeat Olaf, but won't hear about it from them. They're dead. What did you even throw down? Nothing good. Oh, you threw down this. You threw down something good. Good. How about we clear the skies? I'm thinking that we throw these guys down. Oh, you pass. Good on you. Seriously, though. Let's crock it. Oh, we can't crock it. Mother. I'm thinking that we should throw down. Let's do him. Yeah. Let's throw the ship down. Ceres is gonna be. Oh! What is this one? Meno Cohorn, right? Yeah. Meno, take it! Easy! We can knock this off, but I don't wanna do that yet. The North. The North Guardian deck seems to pull out a lot of tens at times, so let's throw Geralt down. A three. You're living large. We'll throw this guy down. And then we'll throw the other guy down, eventually. But we're gonna wait and see if he throws another 10 down. Actually, he probably won't, and I feel like we should... No, let's throw... See ya! Maybe a medic? Do they have medics? I don't believe they do. They kinda just have spies. We'll do him. We're gonna keep Ceres, though. I feel like we should keep Ceres to the next round. Good shit, man. Good stuff, ma'am. 
Really good. Let's do... Croc. Let's see what she has here. Oh, that's shitty. I don't even think we're getting to the next round, so let's just use Ceres. Get out here, shield maidens. Oh, nice. That is sick. That's gonna do some serious... It's gonna give us some serious points. Hey. Eat that. Sorry, man, but I royally whooped your ass. Achievement. What do we get? Collect all the cards in a skeleton deck? Clan Brock for Archer? We got it. But this wasn't... She wasn't somebody. What? What? What are you doing, ma'am? But you weren't somebody to play for Gwen. Were you? Book? Between Worlds? Did we already read that? I don't know if we ever read this one. In a plane not unlike our own, there once lived a ruler named Asgric. When he was an old man, he fell ill. He felt that he would soon die, so he summoned an evil spirit, Meribas, and made a deal with him. Asgric would live until his son came of age and ascend to the throne. Ten years passed, Asgric died, and next to his body, Meribas appeared and turned to the heir of the throne. Your father promised me something. Now you must pay his debt. And just what did my father receive? From you in return, asked the heir. And what do I owe? Your life, Meriba says, and cut the heir's throat with his claws. The boy had not yet died when Meriba opened the gate to another plane. Out of it came a mercenary army with an evil spirit, Bareth, marching at its head. Wait, so he cut his throat? Cut the heir's throat with his claws? And he opened a gate to another plane? Marba sat on Asgrax's throne... Ill times had come to the land. The people rebelled against the demon's rule. Marbus sent Berith and his army after them. Berith slaughtered all the rebels. His armor glistened with blood. People began to call Berith the Crimson Sovereign. Meribus' appetite was not sated, so he sent the Crimson Sovereign to conquer neighboring countries. And so it went on. For hundreds of years, the Sovereign continued his march. Losing soldiers as he went, but Meribus was never sated. Finally, there came a time when the people of all the continents were united under Meribus' rule, and the Crimson Sovereign was left alone, without an army. He knelt before Meribus and said, You hired me, I have carried out my task. You promised me a weapon from which no shield can provide protection. You shall receive it, Meribus said, flashing his teeth. He reached into his garment and drew out a vial filled with plague bile. He flung it at the Crimson Sovereign, yet the Sovereign knew Meribus was enough to expect treachery. He opened a passage to another world and fled before the vial full of plague could hit the floor. Yet ill luck would have it that, while he was fleeing, a gale came flying out of an open portal. It opened the window to Meribus' throne room and spread the plague bile out over the entire world. Ever since Meribus has dwelled in a tower standing above the continent of dead bodies and beasts transformed by the plague, and Beerus still calling him the Crimson Sovereign, wandered from world to world as a mercenary searching for vengeance. What the hell? Is this a traveler? Child of the Elder Blood? A source, maybe? I wonder? That was an interesting freaking story. Hey, thanks for the Gwent card. You literally gave it to me. But, uh, you know. There was no quest here to... To get it. Alright, well let's go head over to Jacob the Woodcutter. See what he's got going on. This quest seemed pretty interesting because it seemed like it was about that witch. There was something about a lady warming... Warning, not warming... Warming the other people up about a witch that was taking their men or bewitching her man or something. How the hell do I get out of here? Excuse me, have you seen the exit? Because I don't know where the hell it is. There's not a soul even here. I mean, I know it's late, but... Can I you help good? somehow? You sure can. Are you proposing to her? I think he is. 
Have fun, sir. I actually went down to this place too. I ran around like a putz and I couldn't find nothing. There was no signpost here. I went down here, looted everything that we can possibly loot. There was literally nothing about. So, well, there's that, I guess. But let's head over to Jacob. I think it's time. Actually, let's read this quest to see what the hell it's about. Talk to Jacob the Woodcutter. A short distance from Castel Ravello, Geralt happened on a notice posted by Jacob, a lumberjack. The logger was in search of someone who had no fear of spells and could thus face a witch. I think it's the witch then, yeah it is. This was the very description of the witcher. No two ways about it, so it was no surprise that our hero took an interest in the notice and decided to visit Jacob. Excuse me, Jacob, you got a witch, huh? What if it's Abigail? I always think it's Abigail when they talk about witches. It probably isn't. But I've brought up Abigail's name so many times because I want to see her again. I really do. That would be so cool. But seriously, though, what if it is? How funny would that be? It would be really awesome. Jacob the Woodcutter wants us to go... He didn't say anything yet about the witch, but I'm saying... You gotta have knowledge on a witch. You gotta be able to deal with a witch, pretty much. But I wonder if this witch bewitched him. If this witch bewitched him. Should I, you know, I kind of want to meditate, but I don't because I don't want to lose our buffs. Stay with me a bit longer, Lady Daphne. Hey, Jake. How are ya? Woodcutter Jacob. God Is this? Be bum -poked. You must hang on, my lady. Wait, there's no body there. Stay with me a bit. Is it in the tree? You, Jacob. Heal, Mohort. Down. Who asks? A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Lewis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. See? Not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you, you could lift the curse. I honestly heard a lady crying, so... Maybe it has something to do with that axe in her? You believe the tale, aren't you a little too old? Listen, Geralt, some people still believe in fucking Santa Claus. I may have believed in Santa Claus till I was in my teenager year, so... Just saying. You believe in tales until you you just believe in them. There ain't nothing wrong with believing in a tale. Bit too old to believe in bedtime stories, aren't you? Want your chops busted, Witcher? How old I am, that is none of your porking concern. Fair point. <laughs> Not my business what you believe, either. Ha! Huh. I'm content we see eye to eye. You want your chops busted? Listen, you're a woodcutter, though. I... you know... Are you trying to cut down this tree? Just saying. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt. But right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx, Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in Octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover. Colophon included. You remember when Kira said they don't read you bedtime stories at Kaer Morin? That's what I'm thinking about right now. Geralt, you probably did get some bedtime stories there. Old Papa Vesemir was reading you all types of bedtime stories, I can imagine. Fond of fairy tales? Why? Fairy tales are interesting. You know what I mean? They are. Fairy tales are have always have this dark kind of twist to them. I know they probably don't, but in my mind, some of them, they just do. Just like old school cartoons and shit, they're all dark minded shit, kinda, in a way. On to fairy tales, why? Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? 
taking the weepy, are you? Do you think me bore me? No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for nights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crowd pie. But I see this as all the more reason to remember the tales. My gran would say, if you know not what to do, think to the chessboard knight and noble Alondra, and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise even if I wished to. Let me examine the tree, yeah, we might as well. There probably is blood coming from it. I think it kind of looks like it though, huh? Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now. Yeah, it definitely is blood. Look at it all. Careful now. Hey, Jacob, can you move? Let me get by you. Got anything else? Well, what did you learn? Absolutely nothing. I swear I hear sobs in the rustling leaves. You re look at all the stuff over there, though. Jacob. What if you killed this tree's family? Look at all the other trees that are cut down. Inconceivable. Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood too. And the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallion something like crazy. Intense magic at work here. She was cursed. She really was. And she was put into a damn tree. Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood too. Wait, we the just heard this, Carol. Resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. It sure is. Now let's get this, huh? Blood. Seeped from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. What about the other trees, though? Logger was making good time. Strange, though. Willows isolated. No other trees near it. Willows isolated, no other trees near it. But what if these trees were there? What the hell's up there? Loggers can't? Talk to Jacob. Jacob! What's going on here? What do you know about this tree, man? Huh? Do you know this person? Did you look at the tree close? Mm hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not say so? Let's talk about my reward. Yeah, Jacob, this is an ordeal. My help doesn't come free, you know. You speak to a lowly woodcutter. No stench of coin about me. Well, obviously not, Jacob. How about 120? That's pretty steep, I say. I cannot pay that much. <laughs> I do not have that much. Jacob, how about... I don't even know an extra five. Agreed. I will pay <laughs> as soon as the young mate is free. An extra five fucking crowns. Thank you. Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome laugh for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the <laughs> moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Lynx Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher. Go to Lynx fecking Craig. Daphne's Wraith. Oh. We got some bestiary stuff, huh? Let's look at the journal then, because we got a book too. Hold on. Something came up in the bestiary, and then we have tales and fables. So bestiary first. Spectres. 
Daphne's Wraith? Oh, she looks like an ordinary person. But I'm guessing it's probably not. During his stay in Toussaint, Geralt became involved with a curious case of... Um, Genodendromorphy? That is to say, a woman who has been turned into a tree. When one cut into this tree's bark, it bled. And when the wind blew through its leaves, one could hear muffled sobs. Geralt investigated the matter and learned magic or possibly a curse was responsible for the transformation. It surely had something to do with a certain sad episode from the woman's past. The love of Daphne's life, a knight errant, had gone to the Witch of Lynx Crag and never returned, leaving her to wait for him forever. Filled with sadness and lodging. Wow, did the... What, did the witch kill her? Or not her, but him? Maybe? Let's read this book, because this book probably ha has something... Probably has something really important. Sir Gareth and Miss Daphne loved each other so much it hurt. To win the approval of his future father-in-law, Gareth had to perform seven challenges. The seventh was the hardest Gareth had to go to Lynx Crag, find the witch who lives there, and convince her to lift the drought that plagued the whole land. Everyone including Daphne pleaded with Gareth to humble himself before the witch. You see, the witch from Lynx Crag was spiteful and headstrong, even for a witch, and only an act of true humility could break her icy heart. So she's really mean. And you have to be nice to her, it seems. Sir, were you nice to her? You probably weren't. Gareth, however, had no intention of bending his knee before a witch. Instead, he planned to force her to lift the curse. Nobody knows what happened on Lynx Crag, but Gareth never returned to his beloved. Daphne stood on the top of a hill and looked for him day and night. Finally, she turned into a tree so that she may live to see the return of her knight. Such was the strength of her longing and the power of her love. Anyone who plunged his axe into that tree would see blood run from the wound. Folks started to avoid that place, leaving Daphne in peace to await for Gareth. In time, all had forgotten about her. So he went here, and he didn't ask nicely. Seriously, he didn't ask nicely, and this lady has an icy heart, obviously. And the witch killed him. And then pretty much transfer the other lady to a tree? That's what she wanted? Well, we need to find this witch. If this is actually still the same witch, though. You think it's... Maybe? Maybe? It's been a long time, probably. I mean, we don't actually know how long it's been. But I'm saying... We... If we do end up finding... This witch... Go to Link's Crag. I mean, we're going to find the witch anyway. Let's talk to Jacob once more. Hold on. I don't want to miss anything because this seems like it could be something really serious. Hey, Jake. You Head good? to the top of Link's Crag. Good. Hold on. We got the saber in my hands. Watch your stones. Huh? Huh? Is the Ba-Ba-Ba guy here? Watch up. I'm working here. Remember the Ba-Ba-Ba guy? From the first game? Hey, let me loot What's all this up, stuff, Lumbers. Drink! Yep. Give me a drink! Oh, walking. Huh. I'm sorry! Yeah, Lumberjacks. Let's click on all of them just yes. to Yes? Yes? Not you? Alright, let's go to this witch's place, huh? Seriously, though, you think the witch is still... still around? No, it's fairy tale. Whoa. Oh, that's the tree. Where exactly is this place at, though? Oh, the way the fuck up here. Mahule, mahule. That's all the way over yonder. Let's get on Roach and... I think we should go around some stuff for now, obviously. This quest seems really good and I want to keep on going with it. I don't want to break it up with other stuff. Roach, you're going to do your thing? Come on. You know you want to do a handstand and run at the same time. But maybe we skirt around any side stuff that we might come in contact with here. And then just get to this quest because I really want to see uh, this Crag Lynx, Lynx Crag place. 
You really think there's a witch here, though? It has to be. It has to be true. Obviously. Fables are always true. I mean, heed the, heed the stories, friends. Obviously. You know? Remember what we did in base game? I really, uh... Took that She Who Knows book to... To heart. When we read that She Who Knows book... I... Just felt like... It really... It really brought to the whole crones and the mother in the tree thing. It took it to the next level. Whoa, there's a cave. It took it to the next level for me because I, that's how we pretty much learned that the mother really truly was evil. But then again, you always have to remember that it's tales. It could have been fabricated, obviously. We don't know. This cave. I want to go to the cave. Well, I'm wondering... If we should go and talk to this witch first. A hut. The witch's. The witch's hut. Shall we go say hi? Look at this view up here. Whoa, she has a, uh... A cage. That she probably hangs people in and tortures them. Friends. Should we be nice here? Hey, hold on. I seen something over here. There's a fucking panther around back. And it's a friendly panther. Hut looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. It's not inhabited. Hold on. On the transmutation of bodies. The transmutation of bodies is one of the most difficult tasks any mage can undertake. Indeed, only the true masters of the art have ever accomplished it, and even they have only perfected one of its forms. This difficulty arises from psychophysical limitations, since a mage can only safely transform into an animal with which he is perfectly attuned. A famous example is that of Ulf Blackbeard, who dwelled for years in a cave with a bear in order to imbibe the life essence of that animal. You a druid? Uh, Liber Ivanus? Ivanus. Conclave of mages banned this town. Did they? I then came to a place known as the Nath Valley, in a world known as Shagai. The mind of man cannot comprehend this land where non-geometric space and blasphemous colors fly in the face of everything our eyes are accustomed to. In that instant, in the moment of my arrival, I teethered on the verge of madness. I shouted a noiseless cry and a sweet bloody sweet when two suns arose above my head. I fell to my knees and prayed to Zathqua. Not for salvation, but for a quick death. And then they came. Hey, you're pretty interesting. You got some interesting shit here. Notes on the use of yarrow stems. Interesting. I think she's a shapeshifter, huh? Yarrow is first and foremost used for medical purposes. As mentioned above, when the leaves of this herb are placed against the flesh, they heal all kinds of trauma, wounds, and sores. Brew it and the resulting tincture treats the common cold, colic, and loss of appetite. Yet, in addition to their healing properties, the branches of the yarrow plant can be used for fortune telling. This method of divination might seem strange upon first glance, but it is in truth simple and effective. It truly allows one to focus on the query at hand and gain an answer both accurate and satisfying. Ma'am. Turkeys, turquoise, turkeys, turkeys armor. Warm. Smells inconclusive. No idea what ingredients are in there. You should drink it. It seems like it probably is good. Bones ground into dust. You really? Wait, what eye? A fiend's eye? You gonna need that? Bear hide? Oh. Mm. 
Pentagram. A wall of spell enhancements. Or trophies. Examine the arrow branch dial. Kerchief. Arrow. Broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer. Branch off a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest. Or a bad one. The handkerchief here has a DJ on it. Did you see that? Doll looks like an accessory for casting curses. Is it a Tristal? Remember the Baron's Tristal? Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, the witch of Lynx Crag, would be hard-pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. Lift the curse or else? Can lift the curse myself? Just list the curse, please? Wow, that's nice. Oh, we gotta be nice to her! Obviously, what happened to Sir Gareth the Knight? The Lady's Knight. You ever make it here? Sir Gareth. Yes. He came to sway me, but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. He stayed a fair while, then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? <laughs> I could not abide it. Yeah, but did he belong to you? Or did he... Did you guys love each other, maybe? I don't think so. He left you. He wanted to leave you. Just lift the curse, please. Can you please lift it, ma'am? Emphasis on the please. What if I asked you nicely to lift the curse? Please. Gareth met the fate he deserved. And what happened to his wench was not my fault. Alright, so you didn't cast the curse. But could you help lift it? I probably could. But why ever would I? I'll humble myself. I'll make you do it. And lift the curse myself. I'll humble myself, madam. I'll humble myself. Prostrate myself before you like the Gareth of the Tale did. I beseech you to help me. Lift the curse that imprisoned Daphne in the tree. When I saw you enter my hut, I thought, Now there is a fellow who shall bend his neck for no one. Stand. None. Not even I can restore to the last the yes she has lost, can erase the suffering she has endured. We cannot bring her back to life, but I shall tell you how you might let her depart in peace. Yet my aid shall have its price. A lock of your hair. Mm, how can I know you won't use it to cast a spell on me? I require this. I must, for with it I will cast a spell to conceal me from you for all time, and will use it for nothing else. You will nag me never again, and you've nothing to fear, I assure you. I always keep my word. Do we believe her? Here, have a lock of hair. Now, boop, Geralt, frog time. Gonna turn us into a frog and shit, probably. No chance I'll manage on my own. No chance you'll let the curse from the tree because I said so. Fine, got a deal. I feel like we should keep going. That book. Let's listen to the book. Let's listen to the fairy tale. All she wanted was somebody to be nice to her. All she wants to do now is conceal herself from us. 
So she does this curse for us and then, oop, vanishes. We'll never be able to find her again. Hmm. That's pretty risky. Let's just go with it though, huh? What can happen? I'll trust you against my better judgment. Lock of my hair's yours. Splendid. What do I need to do? You must convince the maiden her beloved yearned to return, but perished in the attempt. Take her silk kerchief and a fragment of Gareth's remains. His bones lie bleaching in the cave beneath this rock. Fire must consume the kerchief and remains. And remember, your heart, your intentions must be pure. Clear? Yeah. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. And adieu. Once you walk out that door, never shall we meet again. Are you sure, ma'am? You don't want to go on a date or something? I don't know. Hey! Let me in. Let me go back in, huh? You really just gave her our hair? Are you sure about that? Hey, are you in there? Can we see her? Let's see if we can see her. Because if we can see her through the... Actually, let's climb the fucking roof, huh? Whoa! Ah! Geralt! Don't you go dying on her roof! I just want to see in here. Can you guys see her? Oh man, we probably fucked up. This witch is... Wait. Ah. Entrance. There's an... There's two. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm not content here. We gave her a lock of our damn hair. Whoa, that's wild. Get out of here, man. Let's read, shall we? Jacob proved a true expert on tales. The lumberjack readily explained to Geralt that the woman enchanted in the tree was Daphne. Transform out of great longing due to her deep love for the knight Gareth, whose return she awaited. Gareth had gone off to scale Link's Crag, atop which he was to find the witch who dwelled there. He was to force her to lift the drought that plagued the land. Alas, the knight had not returned, and the tale from which the logger drew his knowledge said nothing about what had befallen the knight. If there was any answer to this mystery, it could only be found on Lynx's crag. We've dealt with some scary witches. A little bit more than this lady. I say the crones are probably a bit... Actually, the crones are almost as terrifying, if not more terrifying than the wild hunt, actually, to be honest. But this lady seemed decent enough. Honestly, though, I could imagine that if we were an asshole to her, she would not have liked that. And we probably would have had the... It seemed like Geralt was... The other option was, like, forcing her to, to help. Basically. Look at all these enemies in here. Let's go whoop their ass, huh? Kikamores. Are you guys good? How you doing in here? Wow, that kind of hurt a little bit. He's getting me. He's beating my ass. Hold on. Oh, we can't... Why can't we take a Rafferts? Oh, they're poisoning us. I get it now. Hold on. That's right. We got the fight without potions. That's fine. Bring it on. Who else wants some, huh? Let's get Northern Wind out. This warrior is a beast. Northern Wind is, like, becoming my favorite bomb. We didn't use it enough in base game, and I'm happy we're using it now. Leveled up. Give me his bones. You know you have them here somewheres. Should we take a cat potion? 
I don't want to, though. Because if we take a cat potion, because this cave looks quite small. We'll do our torch. Find Sir Garrus' remains. It's got to be in here somewhere, but... Oh. It wants us to burn him. Damn, Ikamora, huh? I love how it really tears up our toxicity when they hit us. That is really freaking cool. Because it makes it a bit harder. Wait, that's the... It's probably the way to go. Hey, you seen Sir Garrus' remains? Is it in your eggs anywhere? No? Is it in his chest? Gareth, there you are. What are you doing up here? The knights plate armor and some bones. Gareth's remains. These them. Wonder why the armor came apart. Magic. Got to get back to the tree. Lift the curse. Magic. His armor came apart because it was magic. Wait. I feel like there's more to that. It has to be, huh? This undefined copper ore. This is another entrance or exit. This is the other way in. What an interesting tale, huh? Well, I'm happy we didn't use... Formula, orange dye. I'm kind of happy we didn't use... The cat potion there. Return to the bleeding tree. Wait. Undiscovered location. You see this over here? Should we go over here? It's a cave, though. Let's go over here. Look at him, he's pissing. Are you pissing in this beautiful water? Take you for a ride on the wild side, bub. Come on. Oh, man. Rend is so serious. Good job, Geralt. Made quick work of them. Wet letter smelling of soap. It's a wet letter smelling of soap front. Velastro, you and your rat diddled. Helpers deserved a hundred hard flogs to your bare bums for what you got up to last night. I ordered you to prepare edible fare for our band. After eating that stew you made, even Amora who drinks pickle juice by the court and washes it down with rancid goat milk was spurting out both ends. What do you put in there? Dog diarrhea? If any of you steps anywhere near the pots again, I'll chop off your heads myself. Tomorrow I want to see your whole sudden kitchen crew by the river. You're going to wash our Hansa's dung stained knickers till your knuckles bleed. Loth. Damn food tastes like dog's diarrhea. What the hell? Look at all this silk. I just want to jump in here and float down the river. Can we do that? Geralt, can you just float, please? Wow, this is this is really disorientating, actually. Running up this as it's coming down. It's kind of making me dizzy. Let's... This water just doesn't look like ordinary water. It's like you can just walk on it. I, obviously, we're walking on it because it's so low, but it just looks amazing. All right, you dung diddlers, something in here? Every single place we go to has a speech. It has something. Like, Velen was just the way they talk, like, over yonder type. Over year, over yonder. Remember just the Velen speech? Now the whole Toussaint stuff is diddler. Saying diddler with everything. What the freck? I don't see frecking nothing in here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Skellige just had something. I can't fully really remember what Skellige had. 
Skellige had all types of shit that they were saying. Grab the harlot's brute. Are you guys good in here? In your Goonies cave? Look, it looks like the Goonies cave. What the hell? Goodbye to your shield. I've been learning from Jacob, the woodcutter, how to cut wood. Ow. Oh! Fucking club me! I didn't kill Four Fingers. He killed himself by fighting me. I don't think so. Oh, we can't use heavy attacks. I'm like, what is going on? Why can't I hit this guy? I'm trying to run, but I can't. What are you doing over here? Did you die? What happened to you? This cave looks massive, actually. Should we take Cat in here? Might as well. Let's take some Cat Potion in here. We probably don't need to, to be honest, since it's got, like, light. Yeah, that might have been a waste. But even so... It could get dark somewhere else in there. You guys got a whole ordeal here. You got training dummies up and about? This ain't no ordinary question mark. Should we go in the water? It looks like uh, it's probably a good idea since it lets us down. It lets us down for a reason. I think if we go any further, we might fall down. Oh, that's not a place that you fall down. It looked like a waterfall. Lots of this unrefined ore. Undefined ore, whatever the hell it is. Oh, here we go. Hidden spot. Nothing. Wait, this is a Hans something. That's a Hans base, I think. Yeah. We're on the night for higher quest. <laughs> oh shit! We got. I knew I was thinking about waiting to do it because I really want to get to the uh, curse itself. Okay, I get it. We don't need them steps. Let's just go up this way. Actually, are we going the right way? This is the way we came in. We're gonna have to go this way then. And just keep on. Yeah, but who is here? Who's the leader here? I don't know any more leaders. Put that out. I don't know any more leaders from any of the codexes. We haven't found any more codexes with other leaders. There was another one, actually. Yeah, there was one other. Come on. <laughs> I'm digging the rend right now. I won't lie. Come on, bandit. Take that art and love it. Someone fetch Loth half. Whoa. The Witcher wants to die. You see that shit? Come on. Oh, I'm trying to blow him up. Never mind. Hot liquor. Not much. Quick. How are we missing him? Good riddance. How are we missing him? Come on, keep on trekking. Hey, anybody else here? I'm gonna push this barrel right to you, and then I'm gonna blow you all up. Good riddance. Almost. Taking him for a ride. Just like he's saying. We need to get our potions on and our... Our oils. We haven't been using our oils as much. Because I feel like the oil has been really powerful this... This... DLC, really. Well, because of the vamps. I mean, wouldn't the prolong the vamp fights? See you later. Where you going?
This it has to be a hot sp or something. Yo, you okay? This loot is not going unlooted. Seriously though, I always wondered why do they put candles next to loot? Is it to troll us? Seriously, how many times have you guys done that in your playthroughs? You went to click on the loot and you clicked on the candle and turned it off. There's something here, but it's above us. It must be. Then we gotta keep going this way. Hey, what's up, fellas? I sure did. Come on, rend it. Walk right into it. Good stuff. Teamwork. I see. I'm trying to get better with the heavy attacks. We don't really use them that much. And Ren is really fucking powerful. Can anyone even block? There it is again. Can anyone even block Rend? Is it even blockable? I honestly don't think it is. Well, this curse is obviously the tree is going to whittle away. We're not going to... What the hell is above us? Is this the way out? What the fuck is going on here? Oh, this is... We got the enemies coming. Come on. Maybe we don't. Okay. I thought doing that calls on more people. But are we triggered into a haunts? Have to be. Hold on. Did we already come over here? I think we didn't. Oh, there's some red stuff over there. Come on. That's where we gotta go. Whoa, that was not a good idea. What I just did was... Oh, <laughs> Carol, you just got so lucky. You would have fell to your death. This is a haunt. Oh, Loth Halfbeard. Hey, Loth. Want to rend to death? <laughs> Come on, Loth. Don't die yet. It's only three rends. <laughs> Girl is a chopping fucking master. Loth's diary. Most entries cannot be deciphered. Some pages are smeared with grease and ink blots. Day 143. Now that's what they call popularity. They've been coming in droves lately to join our haunts. In fact, I've had to start turning some away. Sadly, most of the newcomers are dung booted jelly diddlers. There it is again. Send that lot to demand coin from a caravan and even the horses would soil themselves laughing. That's why I've put Carlo in charge of drilling the new recruits. Each pitch camp to the south of Link's Crag, the rock where the witch lives, I despise such old wenches like plaguey vapors and would gladly fix up a pyre for her, but after what happened at Cuttering Estate, bet my own dangles that was her doing. So we'd best leave her be. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, honestly. Day 167, it's decided within two sundowns. Everyone's going to be talking about my band's ride through Fox Hollow. My lads deserve some fun and there are plenty of men to gut and wenches to diddle there. So we're in for quite a ball. Rumor going around claims clay pots grow from the ground in those parts. If it's true, perhaps I'll gather up a gaggle of those peasants, put them to work digging up that pottery and will open up shop. Every organization's got to stay nimble and agile these days, so... We'll pivot instead of slaughtering merchants and knights. We'll sell teapots. Yeah, there you go. From banditry to selling teapots. What a great change of pace. It really honestly is, I'm sure. We got the movie Ghost here. I can see them all together, friends. Just sitting there with their clay pots holding each other. One bandit behind the other bandit is holding them, and they're, they're forming the clay together. That's exactly what was happening, I'm telling you. Day 182. Felt like my spirit was trying to crawl out my bum. 
That's how badly our kitchen crew botched our last batch of vittles. When Knights Errant attacked us after that, not a man among us was strong enough to hold a sword. We've got to get our hands on a real cook. Only thing more dangerous than an imbecile with a sword is an imbecile in charge of a cooking pot. Perhaps a quick raid of the cockatrice fisherman chowder would be a pleasant change after all this stew. D dog, D dog doo doo. All this stew, D dog doo doo. What the frickin' hell? You got going on? Plan something, something. You kill guard officer's boots. There is a lot of good shit in here. Vero Leaden Blade? Ooh. Over encumbered like a mother effer. Hmm. Can we take another decoction? I think we can actually take four. We're just not going to be able to take potions. We're good. We can loot more and then get more over encumbered, huh? Florence? Sir, you actually had a nice den going on here. You really did. Too bad, Gerald came. You were kind of living it up. What the dung diddler? I'm telling you. Well, that one's done. I feel like there may. Now that I think about it, I was thinking that there wasn't any more people. I feel like there's one more person, but the. What we read it from, it said when the name came up, it said something about a cave, though. And this is a cave here, to be honest. Can we actually get out of this? <laughs> it's yours now, knights. Come and claim it. Come on, be a merchant here. Armor, blacksmith, perhaps, please. You know you want to. Deprived of their leader, bandits from nearby camps will- Oh, man, we're almost gonna read all of that. Really soon. Literally. Can't pull one over on me, Witcher. I'm really trying not to pull one over on you, sir. I don't think there's anyone here. Oh, there is. There's an armor right over here. Shit. How do we get to you? Are you in this cave somewhere? Well, obviously you are in the cave somewhere. Hey, oh, you care if I steal this shit? They really don't care. If we were in Velen, the Nilfs would have done it's beat the hell out of us. Oh, Hold on, where's this armor at? You're in this cave somewhere. I just... Oh, you're up here. I get it. You can't pull one over on me, Witcher. I Your twin just said the same you. thing. You, can't you really pull did. One over on me, Witcher. I your, can see you're a killer. Your triplet just said the same thing. Take it. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Where the hell is this armor at? Hey, you good? Can't pull one over on me, Witcher. Start no pros. Worker. Hey, hold on. Oh, this Could I there we go. Seems you did our work for us. If it was your job to exterminate them, yeah, I did. They were like an ulcer on Tucson's derriere. Loath half breed. The most cankerous of them all. This loath half breed, part elf? You might have had a look before you tore out his innards. He was called Halfbreed. Rumored to be half-elf. But in truth, who knows? Besides, how is one to know a half-elf? By one normal ear? One pointy? I have no notion. Probably right. You mean they really have two different ears? No. You really don't know a thing about them. One has an elf ear, the other ear is not an elf ear. Mind if I have a look at your goods? Be my guest. I've top-notch armor. 
But as an expert, you'll see that for yourself. Listen, I don't want to buy shit from you, man. I just want you to buy my shit. Take it easy, my man. Have a good so one. Long. Thank you, See you next time. Richard. Or probably not really again. We need to go and... Well, we need to... We really need to... Dispel this curse here if we can. She was saying that we can't bring her back, so she's not going to magically pop out of the tree, obviously. But we'll be able to free her spirit at least. So this lady's been dead for quite a long time, probably since she was cursed. Are we going the right fucking way? Hey, where the hell did you guys come from? We cleared the area and drowners are over here hanging out. You see that? Look at him. Look at this motherfucker, he's eating! What are you eating on, Drowner? We well, might be able to level up here. There it is! Ugly bastard! <laughs> good game, Geralt, good game. Alright, where's this curse at? Let's head back to the tree and try to get rid of this curse. We're back over to the tree, so let's see if we can actually get rid of this damn curse. Hey, where, where you at, Jacob? There you are. Hey, Jake. So, you met the witch. You must have. What did you learn? Which isn't near as bad as you thought. She's actually a fucking nice lady, if you're nice to her. All she wanted was hair, obviously. That witch? She's not near as bad as folks say. Made me bow and scrape, sure. But I know some sorceresses witchier than her. Joyous, bleeding news, but what about Daphne? She's screwed, stuck in a tree. I can lift the curse, free her. By performing a ritual, making a sacrifice of her kerchief and Gareth's remains. But we gotta start at the right time. When the hour comes, I'll light four fires for the four winds. Then begin the ritual. Fires? Then I shall be of use to you after all. Seems you need wood. Much of it. Chop as much as you can. I'll see to the rest. Just don't chop Daphne. Maybe skip that tree. I've chopped and stacked the wood. What now? My turn. Gotta light fires and talk to the woman enchanted in the tree. No idea how this'll turn out. So just in case, stand at a distance. And if you see me draw my sword, run. <laughs> run like the wind! Light the southern fire. Light the southern fire. You hear the owls? Let's get the torch out. Look your last to the world's four winds. From the south, not a word. Light the eastern fire now. You hear her? From the east, no cry is heard. I think we're burning. We burned her, so... <laughs> Girl, you fucking lit your hair on fire. From the north, silent sighs. Light the western fire. Ma'am, you ready for some peace? Because I don't think we can bring you back. From the west, peer hollow eyes. Cease your vigil. Dead he lies. Hear me, you who hide beneath this bark. The day of your freedom has come. Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. Behold, a bone of he to whom you offered your love.
Gareth. My Gareth. He shall never return. No. He won't. Is his love for me gone? Did he stay true? Gareth remained faithful. No, he did not. I want to say that he didn't love her, the witch. I feel like the witch kind of used him. He wanted her back. Whoa. He wanted her back. So in the end, I would say Gareth remained faithful. He did. He loved you. Gareth remained faithful to the end of his days. The time comes that I depart. I've waited too long, I've suffered too much, and now I wish to go. Farewell, lady. I thank you, stranger. And you, my knight. I thank you for speaking to me, for standing vigil at my feet. I did not think it would end this way. I hoped we could revive her. But I guess it was not to be. She's been gone too long. No happy ever afters in life. Did what we could. I feel like this is very fitting to say. No happy ever afters in life. Because there really isn't any happy ever afters in The Witcher. Happily ever after doesn't often happen in life, sadly. You did well. Here, your pay. And the book is yours as well. Thanks. Take care of yourself. So long, Witcher. I must think. Put this straight in my head. That mother effer jipped me of one crown! Did you see that? We got 104 crowns! We offer he offered us 105. Hey, where's that crown at, Jacob? Right lucky thing you showed up. You're a good man though, Jacob, you really are. She called you a knight. A simple woodcutter you are, Jacob, but to her you are a knight, sir. Enjoy it. That was a really awesome quest. I just got to say for the hundredth time, probably maybe even the thousandth time, I love curse quests. They are the best. Every single one of the curse quests that we can lift are always they always tend to be the best damn quests. Just, they're always so damn dark. But yeah, I feel like he did stay true to her. I, I, you know, the witch, I felt like the witch just she wanted to own him kind of the way she had said it. Like he belonged to the witch, well he didn't belong to you. In a sense, do you think that witch was evil? you think it was good to just walk away? Give her the hair? Hmm. I don't think she was purely evil. But let's just say witches, sorcerers, sorceresses, mages, druids, even druids maybe. They all got their motives. So we'll just go with the fact that she had a motive, but maybe she wasn't exactly evil. Still feel like we did the right thing, though. I think next episode we're going to head to... Well, we are really knocking this shit out. I'm thinking that we head back up in this general area. Over here. We'll start with this explanation point. Or we'll start with this question mark here. And then start heading to Big Feet to Fill because that's the last quest. Of that quest chain. And then Night for Hire again. Night for Hire again. We got Vermento over here. Which we need to do. Look at all these fucking caves over here. Did we hit up all these? I think we, yeah, I think we did. What is this one? Knife for hire here as well? Yeah, so start here and then make our way around. Did anything come up in the journal and codexes though? Because I don't think it did. See, he gave us a book. But yeah, it was just a regular book. Did anything come up in bestiary then? Nothing. What about characters? Nothing. Alright, well, with that being said, Next episode, like I said, we are taking the path back up to the upper right here and then going to make our way around counterclockwise and keep on trekking. Anyway, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. Ooh.
See you next time. Take care.